Uh, dear friends, uh, now we are uh, taking another case. So there are so many cases are there, but I would like to uh, complete the case studies to bring home what is happening. And the main issues were not at all addressed. And that is the reason for such big losses, is my conduct. Already you have seen the first case, then the second case, the third one. Now, in this particular case, this is a company, 1,500 crores, uh, seven banks, public sector banks, all they have given. Company is running very well. And it's a Coke, they manufacture Coke. And uh, they have appointed uh, one RP, uh, that uh, lead bank. And then um, they are, uh, the other guy, uh, Section 7 petition was filed by a bank which has only 2% share. And uh, when that IRP was appointed, it's a very big company. Uh, 1,000 workers are there. And uh, as you know, the RP immediately has to take control and custody of the assets, keep the entity as a going concern. All the advertisement for all these claims processing. A lot of details are there as per this. Timelines are also fixed. We'll do. And uh, it is not a small matter. And you know, his fees was agreed at 1 lakh rupees. The company has already achieved a turnover of uh, um, 800 crores. His company, 800 crores turnover. The banks have given 1,500 crores. And the company uh, was doing well. Here, one uh, ego problem came between the uh, two person share bankers, and then this they filed the section seven petition. The promoters uh, did not take proper logistics, and uh, that's it. Um, the company is admitted. So, the company is doing well. You must see first step is uh, when the company is uh, doing well in any companies like that. Um, generating profits. Uh, uh, what happens is uh, the entire staff of people will be loyalist uh, promoters. Otherwise, they won't uh, be there. And workers, thousand workers, families, quarters are all there. Their livelihood is involved. So therefore, and you put an IRP uh, for one lakh rupees uh, fees. You would have been a person who can, who doesn't know because the magnitude of the work is so much that you can never do it. But then uh, L1, the bank has given and then his uh, time will be spent just sitting and uh, constituting the seals. Taking custody control, all these things is not so simple matter. Reviving the company. So there is some clash came between the promoters and the IRP and uh, the the yeah, promoters challenged it in NCL. So this matter took three months. Nothing happened. Stopped also. A good company stopped. Finally, uh, the NCL dismissed their petition and these people came back and the COC was constituted. The lead bank removed this man and then appointed their own person. There is a professional entity. They have got into it. Trained people are there. And this time the RP was a chartered accountant, was in industry. Very experienced man and dedicated person. I am uh, their uh, advisor. Legally, I was appearing for them and also giving them advice. This gentleman worked very hard for uh, estimated uh, total fixed costs and uh, decided uh, how to start this uh, process. And then uh, he brought the company to within two months to break even. About 75 crores is the turnover per month. They are actually. Exposure is 1,500 crores. And the uh, bank which filed is 2%, uh, 2%, uh, 30 crores of that is the bank which uh, moved the petition. And uh, so here what happens is uh, RP should be very careful. You should not quarrel with them uh, staff. The workers have to be taken care of. Thousand workers may they will attack you. Executives are all there. They will be watching you, whether you will be playing properly or testing them like that. The promoter will be active legally. 
and the promoter will have some good contacts with the major bankers that's that is but natural but public sector banks amongst them they won't fight and they will give respect to the other bank whatever it talks about the business is revived they give a level here broad then what this um, a bank has done uh, that uh, applicant bank was very upset and uh, actually the promoters filed the case they have attested 20 crores <clears throat> because they don't want to show npas and uh, that manager would like to show recovery so he made a claim for 30 crores after the claim is made a moratorium comes once admission admission takes place after that uh, you should do 20 crores which is received from some place gst refund not right is against law then the promoters filed the case then it came before honorable prakash kumar mr prakash kumar has said that uh, promoters uh, no existence we get suspended so once the matter is admitted it is the rp who is supposed to take care of the business and uh, he must uh, file the case so he gave a direction prakash kumar sir a very a very good judge this is i am not president uh, is the president of nclt now his approach is he knows the law so good he can interpret all that is there within seconds he will come to subject but he would like to see the adjudication results in some solution not order pass and then challenging in the nclt it's a fantastic approach what he said is uh, rb you conduct a coc meeting and try to bring it to the notice of the banker which is not correct then you see what are as he was also saying and thereafter you issue notice to the bank a week time <clears throat> whatever coc says and then they will pay this is the procedure you please follow and order response and this man conducted coc all this time but the bank is not willing to forward it up then i appeared for them filed the case clearly explained that the paradarajan jay was there he is also a very nice person first step is uh, is the cirp date of admission after that this 20 crores <coughs> they have taken and this is what is the order of nclt and we have complied with it. this is the seal this is the decision this is the follow <clears throat> if the money comes we can we have reached sales this much it's breaking even if you get some more money we can start another uh, manufacturing unit that is battery it is called <clears throat> and then they will perform better higher sales they can when you have a higher sales then you will be able to get a better uh, resolution of the get we have given up today already so much time is lost just he heard that was the other side lawyer he was trying to tell but this is correct no he said yes all is reserved but then the benches are not functioning their lordship from the bench one he has to come he finishes 60 cases actually reasons then he will come at 4 o'clock so tired he will be bored so order passing to a little time took place covid is so what is the reason here the banker who is supposed to help in making the company as a going concern here is a rp who is doing great job and this is the banker knows that during moratorium he should not take money but he has done it so intentionally they are floating the rope then what IBBI should have done. They must have collected the data. They send it immediately to us. <clears throat> Every 15 days you fill up ICA, IBA, and other ones. For what purpose they are taking the data? We don't know. So here, where is the law which protects the RP? First step is RP can be filed against uh, another bank, and all the bankers will join to do that. What happens is. every coc one bank will be the calling shots the gm dgm will be their boss suppose uh, this uh, bank public sector bank 40% then the dgm will be the boss how many do you like anything 
All other banks, you know, they will send their senior manager, chief manager, so they will come and sleep there. Sometimes only ask some questions. So they will go with this gentleman. Who will be uh, abusing? I'll give you another example. So that means what happens is this man could have been a 10% in another uh, COC, where the other bank 10% would have been 40%. So there is a clear understanding among the PSU banks. They will not object anything. So once they decide to remove him, that's all. No reasons. This man doesn't like that day he has come with a green shirt. Green shirt this man doesn't like for reasons best known to him. And uh, that's all. You know. Now, what is that? First of all, IBBI, you tell also they won't listen. And uh, they are only finding faults. When the RP is removed, immediately the bankers will file case IBBI. IBBI immediately starts. Dr. Sahu will come into action and uh, he will take action on you. What is this? What is that? Like that. Recently, uh, against one RP, because he has outsourced and uh, one lakh rupees. They are sending circulars and then penalizing. Law is very clear. A circular has no legal force. Penal action cannot be taken. ICAI versus ICFPI is there. You can see that. Uh, judge, uh, Justice Kanju's judgment. And uh, Mamla's I put number of cases. And secondly, you should not put the name of the RP. You are trying to spoil. 